you know, at first, uh, Fusco was involved with a, a group, uh, Detective Stills and a, a number of other uh, fallen, fallen angels, as you would. Um, and I think he was just became a conformist. He was a guy that who just kind of went with what was going on. Um, and then, you know, he has this, this um, the tables kind of flipped with him with, the, with, the, with, uh, with Reese when he's taken him out to uh, Oyster Bay to, to have Reese meet his demise. Um, and Reese gives him a chance. He says, you know, Lionel, I see the good in you. I'm going to allow you to live. If you ever hurt anyone again, I'll be the first one to put a bullet in you. And I think it was from that moment where, where Lionel really starts to take a self-evaluation of who he is and, 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 and what's going on. And I think from that moment on, just seeing the first couple of episodes, he's very conflicted. He doesn't know whether to embrace the idea of Reese and, 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 and Finch or whether to continue on the path that he had been on for so long. So... I, I think, you know, within the first maybe four four episodes, you really kind of see that. And then you see him kind of embrace the idea of, of that heroic image that he once had of himself. And I think from that path on, it's, it's that's been the, the, the through line throughout the entire rest of the series. Well, it's the second time Fusco saved Reese's life. And he didn't get a thank you the first time, and he didn't get a thank you the second time. And I got a feeling he's not going to get a thank you the third. <laughs> so uh, I think he just kind of, you know... Go, takes it as it as it comes. Well, I mean, that's I think that's a much bigger question than 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 I have an answer for. Um, I mean, I've always lived by the philosophy of if you're not doing anything wrong, you've got nothing to worry about, and that's kind of always been my my. I mean, that's an ongoing that's been an ongoing battle. That question, you know, are you infringing on people's privacy? What you know, but. I, I look at it from a very practical standpoint. You know, if, if you're, you're a person who lives within the boundaries of the law, then you, you don't have any problem with anybody, you know, a, a, you know, walking through a camera lens every once in a while. Um, you know, I think our show is a futuristic show. It's not so futuristic. And I think what it's done is it's brought awareness to something that has been in our society for a number of years now. And I, and I think it's in people's living room every Thursday night, and I think it kind of like, wow, this is, you know, this is not really something that's that far off, you know, and especially when you see the, the, um, the recent um, events that took place in London with the alleged phone tapping to Murdoch and that type of stuff. I think it's really just kind of opened people's eyes, and I think that is another component that has been kind of, um, you know, caused people to embrace the show and the idea of the show.